Hi guys, look Funk here and welcome to another FIFA 20 player review and today guys we're reviewing the 87 rated flashback Fabio from Nantes in League 1. Uh, this SPC costs around about 30,000 coins. Uh, for me to complete maybe 40,000 coins, something like that. And uh, in the free games, I did love him. He didn't score me any goals or get me any assists. And he also does have a uh, three-star skill moves as well as four-star week for getting into the game. Stats, his main standout stats will be his 99 aggression, his 89 ball control, uh, as well as his 98 balance. And finally, his 87 short passing. And he did also have the powerhouse chemist that applied to him. He does have the traits as well of long throw-in and injury prone. Uh, and of course, this was part of a flashback player pick SPC. So you can never take him or his brother in Raphael. Uh, I did do an SPC analysis of the two, like comparing them uh, at first glance and seeing who I thought would be better to take. And I think after using Fabio, I think he's a good card. I think he's a solid card. Um... So nice, good defensive stats. Feels good on the ball too. He's nice and smooth and stuff. Yes, maybe his stamina isn't the greatest, but it's not the end of the world. Um, and... I think the Raphael card as well, again, has better stamina than what Fabio has got, but then has got the problem of a high attacking work rate. So I think both of them have got like a couple slight issues here and there, but I think both of them are very, very slow cards and all. But of course, based on using them, I can only go off what I thought of Fabio was. And I think he was a slow card. Now, according to Fubin, his SPC is coming in at scratch from 150,000 coins, which is a lot of coins for an 87 rated card. I didn't think he'd be that much. Uh, I don't know if... Um, if 150k is right, I thought it would have been maybe about 130k, maybe 120k. Um, you know, it's a lot for an 87 rated card, but what I will say is when you look at their in-game stats, they look a lot better than 87 rated card. They look like they're a 90 rated card or something like that, because a lot of their stats are so high. Um, but, yeah, no, he was good to use for me. His first probably is tackling, very, very slow all round. Uh, 87 stand tackle, 85 slide tackle, nice interceptions, um, 83 defensive bonus is very nice. That powerhouse cam style takes both his interceptions, his his defensive bonus into the, into the low 90s. 90s, it takes his um, his stand tackle up to 99, it takes his uh, slide tackle up to, to 95, which is fantastic, um, and he did make a lot of uh, you know tackles in pretty much every game that I used him with, so that was very impressive. Also, his passing, again, very good, um, his crossing is pretty nice, that goes up to 91 with the powerhouse chem style, his short passing goes to 99, his long passing goes up to 90, his vision goes to 91 as well, which is fantastic to have those kind of passing stats on the fullback, he can play the ball out of danger well, he can start attacks, his through balls on the left-hand side, the power, and like he can just ping it down on the left hand side uh, to whether it be like a Cruyff, a Crespo, a Bellotti, whoever. Um, like a Tuso, of course, as well, was obviously um, very good as well. And then also his dribbling, going to put as a, uh, as, a, as, a, as a pro to the card. He's only got three star skill moves, but he just feels so good and smooth on the ball and so agile for a fullback. He doesn't feel clunky like some left backs can feel. He feels really, really good, easy to turn with on the ball, um, which is obviously very impressive. 94 agility, 98 balance, 89 ball control, really nice reaction to composure as well for a fullback, which is obviously very nice at the same time. Time. Just really, really good, solid stats. I'm not going to put any major issues down to this card. What I will say is his stamina. The way, you know, there were times where, let's say, for example, if I ever um, decided to go down the left-hand side of him, like, maybe more than three times in the match, just, like, pure pace abuse and, like, bomber down the left-hand side, if I would constantly do that throughout the match, he's not going to see out the 90 minutes. You'd have to sub him off. Um, but it's very easy if you're going to go like maybe down the left hand side, like proper bomber down the left hand side, maybe once or twice, or just in general, not doing it like every single time. It's not going to be an issue with stamina too much. But the first game, I did make that mistake where I was literally just given like, so many occasions passing the ball to him, bomber down the left hand side, and he had no stamina left. So I knew not to do that from the following games, and I found his stamina not to be that much of an issue at that point. Of course, it would be better if his stamina was a bit higher, and that's where Raphael is kind of good because his stamina is in like the mid 80s or something like that. But, um, of course, he's got the high attacking work rate and stuff, but on the whole, it's a really good card. Is it a lot for an 87 rated card to this stage of FIFA? Yes, it is. 150k for an 87 is a lot, but you've got to like look past that. You know, the 87 is an average rating for this stage of FIFA, but the the the, the rating that they've given him, it, it should be really 90 rated or maybe even more. Well, yeah, low 90s, 90, 91 rated when you actually look at his in-game stats because his in-game stats are fantastic with like quite a few of them at 99 and stuff as well. Um, so you just got to kind of look past the 87 rating and just focus on his in-game stats and you actually see to yourself, wow, this is actually a really, really good card. Comfortably, in my opinion, are the best fullback, um, the best left back in League 1. And 
Um, probably one of Brazil's left uh, best left fullbacks. Obviously, there's Tellez, there's Roberto Carlos as well, but he probably feels probably just as good as like the mid Roberto Carlos, no doubt. So maybe even not far off the level of the prime Roberto Carlos, to be quite honest. I think if you compared the the two of them in stats, but uh, on the whole, good SBC. I enjoyed using him. I was um, that was I was impressed. I don't really think he put a foot wrong for me at all when I used him in the free game. So on the whole, um, yes, it's an ex it is an expensive SBC for a fullback, but at the same time, you're getting a very very good card to my personal opinion. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video and. I'll see you guys later.